Adrien de Robillon is an Italian superstar. He's a well-known journalist and historian whose books are increasingly coming into English. I guess if I had to describe the way that I would describe his work, I would say it's history on a slant. His books in English include Lucia in the Time of Napoleon, a story about a young aristocrat, a Venetian aristocrat, who's sent to Napoleon's court. What de Robillon found were her, the letters that she sent to her sister, who was obviously back in Venice. And through this correspondence, which includes children out of wedlock, broken marriages, and lots of shame and um, public humiliation, he's able to chronicle not only this moment, this changing moment in Venice, but the end of Napoleon's reign. More recently, he's done quite an extraordinary book on the Zen brothers. Now, the Zen brothers were, if you believe it, a, set, a pair of 14th century merchant um, sailors who claimed to have discovered the North Atlantic and thereby pipping the Portuguese at the post. No one believed in the Zen brothers for years and years, and recently de Robillon, recently being a few years ago, he found a bit of paper in a bookstore, and it occurred to him that perhaps the Zen brothers really did exist. And what I love about the book is that even though it's a true story, it remains a fantastical story. And if, like me, you're a sucker for exploration books, novels about, sorry, biographies about insane people who have to go to cold places, you'll adore it.